Okay, in this case, what I've done, I've pressured up the indoor coil. On the last video, I was showing you about pressuring up, separating the two sides and pressuring up the inside coil and the outside unit to uh, more easily find the leak. Okay, my pressure, you'll note, is about 136. Well, what seems to be happening is that I'm going to do a little time lapse on this thing, and it seems to be leaking down pretty slowly, but it does seem to be leaking down. And you can see it, little bits of drops there right now, and uh, I'm going to leave this over about 10 minutes, and we'll come back to it, and we'll see what the what the drop is. And uh, well, I've gone through everything. I can't find any leaks in it. Uh, so I'm getting really frustrated at this point. So uh, I'm going to show you what it's possible that could have happened. Now I'm come back about 10 minutes later and I've dropped about 10 pounds. I've been looking all over, I can't seem to find the leak. So what I've done, and I'll move the camera around here so you can see it. Okay, now what I've done is I've put another gauge set, and I've connected up that gauge set. Let's go over here and take a look at where I set them up. If, if this is a heat pump, you can do this. If it's air conditioner, you probably won't have it. Uh, if you notice, see I've tapped on there at the common suction, and I've also tapped, see if we can find that one, okay you can see I've tapped there at the common high side with another gauge set. Now a minute ago, well a few minutes, ten minutes ago, the, uh, the gauge on the left there, we'll get closer to it, was at zero because I had zero pressure at the outdoor unit. Remember now I've separated the indoor unit from the outdoor unit I've pressurized the indoor portion. The outdoor portion had no pressure, now I'm showing ten pounds. So it's increasing. That means, very simply, I have a leak in one of these valves. It's leaking by. It's not leaking out, it's leaking by. So I was looking for a phantom leak. My leak is actually in the service valves. They're not leaking to atmosphere, but they're leaking by. So it's not going to be an effective uh, pressurizing technique if the valve leaks. So that's one of the many things that happens when you're doing this kind of stuff. Uh, you got to watch everything. So just to kind of summarize. I had a pressure drop here. My pressure kept going down. I couldn't find the leak. I had these valves off here so that it would isolate the outdoor or the indoor unit from the outdoor unit. The indoor unit had no refrigerant or, or no gas in it, no uh, pressure and so it would be zero but now I, with my second gauge set on there you can see I'm, I'm continuing to go up. So I'm leaking by and that's how you find that. Uh, Sometimes leaks will throw you every kind of curve you can possibly think of, and this is one of them.